So the exercises that we are going to do today can help with a lot of what we're talking about right now. And it's a set of exercises called Brain Dance. And Brain Dance was created by Anne Green Gilbert, who is a well-known dance educator and also just body-mind practitioner. And what she discovered is that there are these eight steps that we start doing from, from the times we're babies and we're on a floor, or on a flat surface, that not only enable us to understand how we can uh, understand our physical world, but also it helps us in our brain patterning. And it helps us start to understand our world cognitively. So there are eight steps that we will go through and they will feel very natural to you because you probably have done them and we do them functionally. You probably have done them multiple times. So I put information about brain dance in the chat so you can look at it later on. But we're gonna get started with our first step. So our first step is something that we all do normally and don't ever think about it. And that is breathing. And we're going to do a counted breath where we're going to inhale. You can inhale either through your nose or through your mouth for four counts. And then we're going to exhale for four counts. Five, six, seven, eight. Inhale one, two, three, four. And exhale one, two, three, four. How did that feel? Good. Yeah. Excellent. Now, going back to step one, which was breathing, you may have observed, either in watching me or in your own body, that your body kind of does a little bit of a lift when you inhale, and it does a little bit of a deflation when you exhale. So we're going to take our, the, our breath, and we're gonna expand that idea of movement. We're gonna think about expanding our entire body with air and oxygen and stretching our body really wide when we inhale and when we exhale, we're gonna allow our body to collapse like a balloon or deflate like a balloon. So let's try two of those. We're gonna use the same counts, four counts to inflate and deflate. Five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three. Really stretch out, four, and slowly deflate. One, two, three, four. Okay, so can everybody mute yourself? We are going to play some music for our next steps. So I'm gonna stop talking and you'll follow me.
So now that we're warmed up, we're gonna take one of our steps, which is using our upper body, and we're going to apply opposing dance elements to our upper body movement. So in the chat, I have placed four opposing elements. The first one that I posted is soft and hard. So when I think about those two opposing elements, I think about how I can explore them in my body. So if I'm thinking about soft, I might think about a cloud. But when I'm thinking about hard, I might think about a rock. So in my exploration, I'll explore both of those elements. Uh, the next one that I posted was fast and slow. So I might decide that this is what fast looks like to me. And slow is like I'm moving through jello or clay. The third element or opposing element that I put elements that I put in the chat are big and small. So when I think about big, I think about being as far away from my core. Remember we did core and distal. I think about being as far away from my core as possible. And when I think about this movement and making it small, I'm gonna bring it as close to my core as possible. So I might explore that, those two elements of movement. And then there's flowy and jagged. And when I think about flowy, I think about water. And also when I think about jagged, I also think about water and jagged water. So I'm gonna give you a moment to decide which of those opposing elements you choose to use. So now that we know that we are working with our upper body and you each have decided on your opposing dance element, I'm going to ask you to play with movement in your upper body, including those opposing dance elements. I'm going to give you about two minutes. You can decide that you want to make it more improvisational and just play around, or you can decide that you actually want to choreograph actual movement. It's up to you. Also, what's up to you is deciding to either turn off your camera or move away from your camera or stand up to be able to play with these movements. So I'm gonna put on some music and I'm gonna give you two minutes to play. Thank you. 